Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chico Wise. Quick little video, and its purpose is talking about ingot molds. I've had a lot of success finding aluminum muffin tins and, and using that for my ingot molds. I do have your, your standard commercialized, popular branded one. So I've got an NOE here. It's actually a, a uh, ingot NOE. I like theirs because it's stamped with wheel weights, PB, Lino, and other. Uh, I think these are one pounders. I like the mold here. I've got the Lee one that has two one pounders and two half pounders. But I, like I said, I get good results with the aluminum tins. Uh, you can always find them at thrift stores or second chance stores. Um, so, I mean, I don't know the weight of these, but I like where I fill them up in different increments, basically. See, this one is the, looks like a shell or something, seashell. And I've got one here. Like, say if I was using this one for uh, soft lead or even uh, pewter or something like that. So, so th this one's, that's got to be over a pound. Same thing with this one. Almost like a beehive or something, right? The only thing I would say, it's like the mini cake. And then we got a big honking one. And then I made them a little smaller. So with these, what you, you want to make sure you don't fill them up all the way to the rim. Because you fill them up all the way to the rim, it's going to be hard to get it out. On these, I like filled them up to that line right there. So. Same thing, I just filled it up to that line. I left at least about a quarter inch left. So when I'm done, what I can do, I just, it's like that. I just slam it on some wood, and it comes out without bending the um, the mold. So that's it. Quick little video. Hopefully it don't go too long, but that's it. I want to put that out there just in case people was, if you're looking for ingot molds, like I said, always don't, don't leave out the second chance in the thrift stores and, you know, repurposing some of that stuff. Keep in mind, when you use, when you put lead in these, do not, I repeat, do not bake in them. Don't let no one bake in them. Write on them, scribe on them. No eat, no food, no drink. You know, just use common sense with that. Oh, another thing. Um, what I found when I use these, normally the very first time I pour lead in them, the very first time or, or when they're cold, they will have the craters in them. And what I do I um, only pour one about this size and let it sit and let it heat the aluminum up. And after that, they come out pretty good. Like here's one right here. This was the first one I did. If you can kind of see the the craters. And it don't matter. Guess what? My pot's not going to discriminate at all. These are perfect size for my pot. They drop right in. Even the big one, it'll drop right in. I've already tried it and tested it out. So, But the smaller ones work a lot better. Like I said, even if you fill them up to the rim. Um, they will go right in the pot, no problem. So, y'all keep that in mind. Um, thanks for watching, Chico Wise from the Dirty South.